Hey everybody, welcome back to 10 Minute Jobs. Today we're gonna be doing two more fluid changes, but this time on my 15 Silverado. All right, folks, so we're underneath the truck, getting at our differential, it's right up here. So the first thing we gotta do in order to drain and fill is take off this pan, and that is a 10 millimeter, one, two, and then there's a couple bolts across the front I'm gonna get to. There's one right here and one right here. I think I'll show you those when I figure out which ones they are. <laughs> We're gonna get that off and then I'll show you the next part. Okay, so we got that cover off. Um, it's just kind of like a brush guard, it's plastic. So there were four 10 millimeter bolts and two 15 millimeter up front that I took off, put them in my mag bowl over there, got that out of the way. So now we're looking at our transfer case right here. So what we have is our drain and our fill. So the fill kind of doubles as your level and I'll show you that. So the first thing you want to do though is take your fill off. That way, if there's anything wrong with that one, you don't wind up in trouble. Break that loose, just like so. I'm gonna go ahead and grab my pan just in case nothing should come out. So, my truck is 2015, 1500 Silverado, and I am right around 73,000 miles. And this service interval to change this fluid out is at 60. So I'm a little late, but uh, better late than never, right? So anyway, we've got our cap off there. You can kind of get a look at that. So what you want to do is obviously we're going to clean this all up and inspect this rubber gasket. Make sure there's no cracks on there or anything like that. But we'll clean all that up here in a minute. Next thing though, we're going to drain it out. And that's this right here. Make sure my pan's lined up. And all that takes is your ratchet, your 3 8 drive ratchet. There's no sockets needed. So that fits right on there. Just like that. Make sure you get in there as far as you can. And then we're going to crack it loose. Doesn't take much. Now this time, should get fluid. And there we go. Perfect. So now this is obviously our drain plug. And what we're going to see, yeah, it's magnetic. And so all that is the filings. And more than likely, just about guarantee, this has never been done before. Like I said, I bought it before 60,000 miles. So I highly doubt the dealer did it, even though I bought it used. But it's normal for you to have some filings on here because that's what GM just called break-in, right? And so we're gonna have the same thing with the other cases as well, such as our automatic transmission, our rear and our front differential, this being a four wheel drive. So we let that drain out, it's already getting pretty close. So what we'll do is we'll kind of let that drain. I will go clean up some stuff and then we'll be right back. Okay, we are back. I cleaned up our drain plug. It's nice and clean. And our fill plug. Just use some brake clean. Spray it down, wipe it off real good. Try to get all the metal shavings off of there. One thing I am gonna do, maybe a little extra, is I'm gonna go ahead and spray some brake clean inside. And let that drain out. A little extra flush and we'll just let that drain grab a rag what all right so battery died I don't know what you missed but I sprayed some brake clean inside just to flush out the last bit and wipe that up we'll stick a drain plug in and fill it back up and we'll be all done all right, so we got everything cleaned out of our front differential. 
torque that back down. And get it lined up. There we go. Don't go crazy. All right. So now I'm using Angel L Severe gear. If I can show you that. It's the 75W90 that's manufacturer spec. And these packs are pretty nice in that you have the squeeze so I can just turn it. I don't have to have any hoses or anything like that. I'm going to chop this top off and we'll start filling it up. All right, so I'm pretty sure I remember correctly. This should take uh, two pints or quarts. I can't remember. But the important thing is, well, first of all, I open the darn thing up. Don't forget that. I'm going to try not to shove these down inside. All right, I don't got this thing opened up. Now we'll start filling it up. And oh, there goes the air compressor, of course. Until it starts running out. Okay, there's that. Okay, so I double checked and it's two quarts. So it's two of these bags up to two quarts, it says. So we're going to keep going, obviously. So that's it right there. So you can see it running out on its own. I'll stick my cap back on here real quick. Get that to drain off. Get this out of the way. That's what we're looking for. So to verify, put my finger up. I'll give a better look. If I can't give you guys a look at that. I'm inside there, I know there's like no light. But we're looking to be right at the bottom of this at ledge right here. I can get out of the way of the light. Well, I'll take my word for it if that doesn't come through. <laughs> but let me show you one more time what I'm talking about. Get this guy way up in there. You see that? That's what we're talking about. Get that closed off again. Fill plug put back on. So that's it. It's all full. So recommended that you double check your level after you drive for I don't know like 100 miles or something. It said 
we'll do that because it's got to work into all the nooks and crannies but otherwise we're good to go um we're at 24 foot pounds here here and on the rear diff so i'll grab the torque wrench and get those nailed down all right so i got my torque wrench got it set to 24 foot pounds looks like we're already there i'm gonna grab not fit very well does it i need an extension we'll get that here in a minute i'll do the other one first the drain we're already there see it does not take much so that's it all done so we'll put our cover back on brush guard and be done with this one so that's it all right, folks, so that was another 10 minute job. That one actually was 10 minutes. I know that's kind of a joke on this show, but yeah, that one was actually 10 minutes. That was real easy. The hardest part might've been taking the uh, brush guard off. But other than that, we're all good. We're done. We got the brush guard back on. Everything's torqued back down. You saw the fluid level, real simple deal, okay? So thanks everybody for watching. So if you liked, um, go ahead and hit that like button, subscribe, all those good things. We really appreciate it just getting started here I'd like to make a, a whole deal out of this we'll be doing lots of maintenance on on our vehicles so thanks again everybody have a good one